Hello everyone. So another week and another page in my faces book. Um, I mix um, a yellow and a gold acrylic and I'm putting it through this stencil. As you can see, I have not um, prepared the pages, didn't use gesso or anything, just working on the book paper as it is. So I'm creating a nice uh, background. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do this time because I wanted to do something with Guardian Angel. Um, didn't know how she would look, but she had to have a wing anyway. So that's what I did. Now I'm going over the same spots with um, gel medium uh, to create a resist because I wanted to keep the yellow and gold color. Um, and well, you see that I mix a dark blue acrylic paint and I mixed it with a flow improver to create kind of like a, how do you call it, a wash or something because I didn't want to go over the words on the pages. Uh, so it's quite thin and because I put the gel medium on, you can see, I can use a baby wipe and get everything off and keep my pretty background and the blue has gone in between the lines of the stencil so looks quite nice I think. Um, then I drew a kind of shape of a face and a wing. I'm not that satisfied with the wing but I thought well, I'll just work with it and paint it. I didn't want to erase it or start over again. So I just uh, used a quite a goldy kind of color as you can see it's very shiny um, I go in between working daytime and nighttime that's why the lighting is so funny but uh, well anyway it looks quite nice I think so I'm drawing a face as you can see and uh, I'm working with my Derwent uh, watercolor pencils and I mix them with uh, the um, Derwent Inktense pencils. They've got a very bright color and I didn't need that brightness all over her. So she's going to be kind of a bluish lady. I'm into blue lately. <laughs> Don't know why, but... So doing a little bit of a close-up and you can see I'm just uh, drawing and coloring with the pencils um, and that's because I don't like to work with water. I'd like to mix them uh, on paper so I go in with water and brush uh, after I put down all the colors that I want to use if, I, if that makes sense. And then I use a little bit of um, gesso to create some highlights. I don't want a very dark face and uh, well this takes a while <laughs> so uh, going in with my fingers and then coloring it again and then go in with the pencils again it's uh, going back and forth with pencils and paint and I think that I am uh, yeah I'm using gesso and the other colors are um, the same dark blue that I use for the background and a turquoise Blue. It's from Americana, the turquoise one. Then I wanted to do a very nice hairdo. So I'm um, going in with the lighter colors first and then go. It looks very light, but I will tilt the page. You can see now that it's dark. <laughs> That's just because of the bad lighting. Colored her eyes in the turquoise blue and give her pink lips. Now you can see that I've done a lot. Now I'm just masking off a, a piece of this stencil because I wanted to get some movement in my page so I thought I would do gold rain kind of idea. Not not rain but just a little bit of movement. I don't know how to explain it but you see what I'm doing. I'm just creating some interest to the background and make it all come together. And I uh, really like that stencil. I'm asking to make sure that I don't get any other patterns on my page. <clears throat> now I uh, watered down this very rock hard, um, come on, ink gold, that's it. And uh, the darker lines around the wing are made with the Derwent Intense Pencil. You know that by now, I use that a lot. And 
and I'll go in with a hair and here and there light everything up a bit and uh, don't know what I'm doing now oh yeah decide to give her red lips anyway <laughs> needed a bit more of a diva in the angel girl <laughs> strong ladies they are so red lips are good now here and there using pencil uh, can't explain just sometimes I do things that I don't think about and you can see that I'm just using the brush to water everything down and make the colors blend I think she's pretty enough okay and um, at this point I thought I need to get something done on um, her face a little bit more because uh, the space between um, uh, her eyes was quite wide um, but then I thought I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna leave it as it is and I'm just gonna make her stand out from the background by using the Dobet Intense go around the face and then just use water and blend it with the background that's what I did and then I wanted to uh, do something about the background and you know the a wonderful artist uh, Gustav Klimt uh, he makes very beautiful paintings and uses a lot of gold and uh, I thought oh if I start uh, using gold on the background just go over some shapes then it looks like a kind of a clipped idea and then I go in with the blue and make it look prettier as it already was and I really like the way this turned out in the end it is a bit of a detailed work and it takes a, a bit of time uh, I made this page uh, in uh, 1 hour 50 minutes, so almost 2 hours. It's quite, uh, it's a normal time for a page that I do. <laughs> so um, I hope you uh, liked uh, this one. Um, I uh, stamped the words Guardian Angel on a little piece of uh, this tissue paper and I didn't want to glue it down on 